on this one today, it's upside down. <laughs> What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got to stand for the bar top. All right guys, so if you take a look at a couple videos back, we got PR Boricua Chari. Uh, she basically messaged me and said, hey Vic, I need the stand for the bar top. So obviously I do get everything from Gaming Solutions as of now, because they're quick on you know the builds and all that. Um, so the bar top came from Gaming Solutions, and we got the stand from Gaming Solutions. I have personally never seen the stand or built the stand in person. Um, I've done about maybe seven stands. Uh, that's kind of like where the customer messaged me and says, hey Vic, I need a stand. So I just kind of give them the artwork files and then they order it and then the customer actually just builds it on their own. I've done that many times. It's very easy to do. It's Ikea furniture. Um, but this one right now is my first ever that I will actually put together and see it in person. I've always seen pictures of these things and I'm kind of excited to do it. Just have a little bit of a hiccup on gaming solution side. Chari's um, bar top is white sided and I requested white sided, but they sent me black. Um, I don't know if they're going to request this back. I'm contemplating on building it, but I'm just gonna build it and then I could just take it apart, worst case scenario. Um, but yes, that's the kind of a small hiccup on this is that it should have been white. And I wanted to give this to Chari on Friday and today is Wednesday and um, I'm not too sure if it's gonna happen. Um, but let's get to building, let's see how it is. By the way guys, big shout out to you guys, the viewers, a thousand subscribers, amazing. I don't really do it for the subscriber account, but it feels pretty cool and pretty good that people are actually watching the videos. When I started, if you look way back, I like my videos, I, I talked a lot, number one, it was very unorganized, uh, but honestly, I just did it for fun. Uh, I didn't think that people would actually watch, so it's really cool to at least know people are watching it, numbers are going up, but again, I'm not a numbers person. I just like to talk arcades and I like to kind of show off builds as me personally, there are some videos that I wish were on YouTube showing and tutorials, and they're not. So that's where if anytime you ever see like a tutorial from me, it's kind of like I've tried to research it and I couldn't find it. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos, and thank you again. Let's get right down to the stand. Again, uh, Game Room Solution stand. This stuff is easy. I just looked up his video. It's literally a three minute long video. Um, it's all cam locks. Once you see a small uh, you know a small hole you automatically know to put a cam lock in it So I'm gonna start with the sides put the cam locks and then he suggested to put the T molding as far as like the foot uh, Pieces and all that which is smart. I could probably do that real quick um, But I don't want to bore you. I'm gonna put all the cam locks in All right guys, they have about two hours into it. We finally got it built put it on the wheels check it out It is a nice stand. I unfortunately don't have the bar top with me um, again this the wheels are adding about maybe four to six inches um, but all in all, it's pretty clean. Um, when I sent out stands in the past, uh, I've had maybe like two people tell me that they had to actually not have this T-molding put in. I'm not too sure why. T-molding is so thin, I'm not sure why they would have to cut it, but if you figure putting a bar top on it, I mean, it might add a gap. I'm not too sure, but very surprised by it. It's very clean, very durable. It's even got like a hidden drawer. Can't go wrong. It's very cool. It even has like a footrest on it and another shelf that's adjustable. It's really cool. Basically, when you do get it, you drop this down, comes with four bolts. So you put the bar top on it and then in the bar top is already pre-made holes. And that's it. I mean, it's really, it's really clean. You could even possibly put, if you made a couple adjustments, you probably put a PC underneath like a, like a, a like a tower. You probably put a tower underneath this and then, you know, maybe route a hole through it. Um, it does actually have holes in the back. It actually does have holes in the back, so you can probably route your wires through this. Um, I didn't put any LEDs on this, as uh, I've never really done it like that, but all in all, quick stand, quick video. Uh, real quick, we'll talk about the graphics. So again, same graphics that she has um, on it. I had to redo the graphics for Game Room Solutions. Um, the template didn't match up with the uh, bar top that they had. Um, which makes sense. This is much a much bigger piece and um, they don't have my exact uh, Photoshop file. Um, so it would have been too blocky or pixelated. So basically we redid a new one. Um, it was really weird again that I had to do that because um, I have a JBP's arcade that he bought a stand on his own and they were able to maximize it. So 
I think they were trying to maybe get my graphics again, but it didn't work. All in all, again, right side, left side. I made, you know, my logo up top here so they couldn't duplicate it. And then basically this is the marquee. Uh, really clean, again, same thing, I had to enlarge this so it wasn't pixelated, um, but it's really good. Again, for this, uh, Game Room Solutions, I think, charges like 280, 290 for this, so that's, that's what the customer pays. I don't upsell that. Um, took me about two hours to make, and the only longest thing ever is always T-molding. T-molding is always a very difficult thing to cut, so there you go. Uh, real quick, I'll do it where it's on the floor and it's not on the wheels, uh, this way you can kind of see it. Uh, it's about waist high, so you gotta figure when the bar top, the control panel is right here, so it's a very good uh, uh, size on it. Let me get a ruler. Because somebody might want to know the height of it. Um, Game Room Solutions doesn't really have dimensions unless they updated it. But from the floor, this is exactly 31 inches tall. 31 tall. Somebody wants to know about the width. Should be the same as the bar top, which is 22 and a quarter. And then the depth on this is 19 and a quarter. So there you have it. So we got it down on the floor. I figure we'll do a walk around. Uh, again, took about two hours to make. The only kind of hassle is always T-molding. No matter what you do, no matter how great you are, 90 degree T-moldings can never come out perfect. So you get a little bit of a, of a gap, but it's not too much. Um, compared to the bar top, I'd rather put T-molding on a bar top. This one does need a lot of T-molding. I think they marked it as 35 feet. Um, but all in all, again, it's really good, really clean. It's even got like a footrest, so you can literally put like your foot if you're gaming, a shelf. I do like the little secret drawer. Very cool. Um, very nice, came with the everything you need here, the clasp, locks in. The only big question, I'm gonna flash a picture real quick of uh, JBP's arcade and uh, Morris's arcade, because they bought the stands on their own and built it on their own. Morris was the one that told me that he had to actually cut um, the T-molding he actually cut the T-molding off of the, the actual bar top and left this T-molding on. I mean, I right now don't have a bar top to put on this. I don't have uh, PR Boricua's um, bar top with me, but I wouldn't really understand why you would have to cut it. It only has such a little bit of a gap, so I would figure, you know, if you do T-molding, T-molding, let me get a piece. This is how much like slack is left. So I would say that this is about, I don't know, four to five feet that's left. Uh, but basically, if you do like T-molding to T-molding, I mean, I understand the, the gap that you possibly would see, but it really wouldn't like interfere. Um, I think Morris told me that like he couldn't close the bar top like on it. I'm not too sure. Again, you have the bolts up top here. Basically, once you do like, it should squish down. I mean, you will definitely see a gap. Maybe that's why um, they've cut the T-molding the out so that there is no baby gap. But again, all in all, very clean. Had to make the graphics bigger so it's not pixelated. Logo's clean, look at the shadow effect on that, awesome. Left side is good, that again is the marquee. Left side, same thing, I basically just bumped up the logo a little bit, widened out the characters, and easy peasy. PR Boricua build, the stand is ready, Chari, I'm gonna message you, and uh, there you have it.